Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Apologies if you can hear a little bit of a in the background. It's really humid here in the UK. Clouds completely covering the sky, but it's hot and stuffy. Uh, so I've got the uh, cool air flowing through. You don't care? Shut up. Get on with the video. Gotcha. Uh, right, earlier in the day, I brought you my <laughs> Batwoman season finale walkthrough. It's not technically a review. And uh, it was a terrible, <laughs> terrible, terrible finale, as you would expect. It was a complete mess. Hot garbage. The right is utter trash. And uh, I was not disappointed in as much as i knew it would be rubbish uh so with that said i want to start this video off with some good news batwoman veteran do gray scott will not be returning for season three and i don't mean good news yeah we got rid of him i mean good news for do gray scott <laughs> who's got out of there now, in terms of his story arc, I, I, I don't know. N nobody has a story arc. They just want a scissor. Uh, Do Grey Scott, the last time we saw him, was imprisoned for something. <laughs> Which we're not entirely sure what. I think he's been imprisoned because Alice is his daughter. But I don't think that's an actual crime. <laughs> so I don't know why he's in prison. Uh, he disbanded the crows. He tried to root out the corruption within the crows. And then just ended up in prison. For some reason. Anywho. Uh, he will not be returning to the show. He's got away. He was contracted clearly for two seasons. Um, or maybe he was contracted for more. But... If you saw his acting this season, he didn't give a shit. <laughs> he did not give a toss uh, about what was put in front of him. Uh, he he just he just dialed it in. He absolutely dialed it in, and God bless him. So he he's got his wish uh, and actually left the show. Shall we see what Caroline Dries, the White Savior, thinks of all this? Shall we? Uh, she says. The, the, this character of Jacob had sort of had sort of run its course sort of it's sort of kind of maybe <laughs> probably not but he's gone now run its course for better or worse what the hell does that mean this character maybe kind of finished his story i mean i don't know if it's for better for i'll, I'll tell you what caroline i'll cut through the bs definitely for worse because your show is absolute trash showrunner caroline dries explained to eu.com we ended up being able to really write to a good ending for jacob what is in prison you stupid cow he's in prison for doing nothing just kind of knowing in advance that's what we were gonna do no you didn't it allowed us to give dugray some really rich stuff towards the end <laughs> he stuck some snake bike into him darling and that was it and then just started tripping balls about his daughters it wasn't rich stuff it was stupid Having Do Grey Scott as Jacob Kane on Batwoman was incredibly special for all of us, Dries also said in a statement. An actor with his pedigree and reputation elevates any project he wanted to get away quickly. And he had great chemistry with his castmates. We loved telling Commander Kane's story for the last two seasons, and we will always leave the door open to have him return. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never gonna see him again never gonna see him again we wish him the very best yeah he he, he does not care he does not care also uh the new kate kane uh played by i don't know some will taslow or something can't remember her name uh she's gone as well uh so kate kane returned just to leave 
So, and, and don't ask me what the story arc of the season was because it was all over the fucking place. It really was. Uh, I've got no idea. Uh, Kate's alive, even though we're not going to recast her, but we recasted her and now she's gone. <laughs> Huzzars! What amazing writing! By the way, there's some there's some drugs involved. Um, a, 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 an island of of lesbian uh, plant growers whose plants can cure anything in the whole world, but they're not gonna share it. And uh, Ryan um was quite happy to date a girl woman who was making the snake bite while busting people who were taking the snake bite which is the drug that's the name of the drug by the way at night so she's busting the 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 people who are taking it meanwhile she's scissoring the person who's making it and not giving a toss our hero you can be my hero baby just as long as you scissor me uh and uh, alice cried a lot <laughs> and met a guy and then he died <laughs> i don't know what the story arc was for the season i'm sure we'll have a, a, a bat woman round table with the uh with the big bat woman names you know you know who i'm talking about and we'll all get together and have a discussion about season two so so with that said let's have a look at the ratings let's have a look at what the season finale pulled so before i reveal the deal it is on what the season finale did uh you can see that apart from this anomalous uh, rating on uh, episode 11 which just seemed really weird and pop out of nowhere essentially from episode 9 onwards <laughs> the show's just died a horrible lingering death i mean technically you could say from episode 5 even 4 <laughs> with a you know just a couple of breaths of fresh air and that's ter these are even terrible as well um this died this died a horrible horrible death well let's have a look did the season finale pop a rating and end the show on a high The answer is no. <laughs> In actual fact, it's currently uh, it's currently displaying because it's it's got to be confirmed. But it's currently displaying the third lowest rating of the whole series, dropping down fifty thousand viewers from the previous week, and the demo dropping down. 0.03 from the previous week as well now i have to say though when the um confirmed ratings have come in in the last few weeks i would say from um maybe 14 onwards i think maybe actually 30, 15 onwards the ratings have gone up a little bit so this actually might raise up a little bit but i still think uh, it's not going to be able to raise up high enough to hit this, which is 0.425 uh, to make it not the third lowest rating of the whole season. That is a terrible rating to pop. Uh, it just shows how little people give a shit about this series. It really does. And it returns, I think, October, maybe October 23rd-ish on a wednesday 
so it's gonna lose its coveted sunday spot this is a coveted spot folks this sunday slot is a doozy slot and it's had it for two seasons now and it's done nothing uh, so it's losing that it's going to a wednesday and it's gonna show after legends of tomorrow oh man i cannot wait to see the ratings for season three because now one gave a flying fook about season two and it's absolutely everything that the show deserved it's crap it's uh, written terribly it's show run terribly it's directed for the most part terribly acted terribly with horrible characters who are so unlikable and selfish that's a great show <laughs> so we bid farewell to batwoman and i'm gonna try and arrange now a batwoman roundtable stream uh, where we get all the uh the big names in who have been dealing with batwoman a season to have one last discussion so i hope you enjoyed the vid if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and youtube for live streaming links are in the description box down below i'll be back with some more stuff very soon you take care bye for now